Hello, everyone. My name is Fumia Ida from Bioinspired Robotics Lab, University of Cambridge. Thank you for this opportunity to present at this virus workshop. Today, I'd like to discuss a big picture about the RoboPatient project, which we have been working in the last years or so. The RoboPatient project is a very interesting and important project because it touches many fundamental challenges of robotics. In my view, this project is aiming to achieve robotic system more like living human patient and also more like patient in the conscious state. Obviously, these two problems about what is the life and what is consciousness require much discussions and investigations, but in my view, there are prerequisites for developing ultimate training machine for primary care practitioners. To, to tackle these fundamental challenges, there are many theoretical questions to be considered. The first of this kind is the so-called frame of reference problem. Frame of reference problem refers to the perspective issue where we need to be clear about perspectives of observers or that of agent itself. This problem was originally proposed by Herbert Simon, known as Simon's ant. This ant in the picture in the slide is following a very complex trajectory on the beach, but the complexity is not within the ant mechanism itself. And in fact, ant's navigation mechanism is rather simple. Instead, the complexity exists in the interaction with the environment. We also need to keep in mind that our robot patient will be in a very similar circumstance like Simon's ant. This essentially means that what we are building as human designer is agent's mechanism, but what observers are seeing are the agent interactions with the environment, which designers do not have a full access to. Consequently, the complex behavior of, of agents are not fully in the hand of designers, but the processes after system uh, are being developed. And that's uh, really the crucial challenges of RoboPatient uh, project. The second fundamental question is that of uh, functionalism and the behaviorism. When we observe what human doctors do, we're able to observe articulated functions, but these functions should not be in the closed format. Those we usually found in mathematical or computer functions in the Turing computation fashion. Behaviors of bio biological systems are often something, something more difficult to be described in closed forms, often unnecessarily more complicated than it could be. Such redundancies and the complications are necessary because the system need, to, need the room for emergence to be adaptive uh, to dynamic or changing situation. This approach can often simplify problems by exploiting given physical constraints and perception. Another fundamental aspect of RoboPatient project is that of language or grounding issues. The problem is about the language or methods to describe the behaviors of the system, which needs to be considered carefully. The kind of interactions we are dealing with are very complex usually, and our programming language or our other means to program our robot is usually uh, not sufficient. The picture in this slide illustrates that the original discussion of the problem, where it is already very difficult to describe the battery of this robot sitting together with the bomb on the trolley. We need to learn from this classical lesson that we should not overestimate the power of our language to describe complex phenomena like robot patient. We probably need uh, different means to program robots. Moreover, even if we have a complex framework of language that we can describe complex interactions, we still uh, need to encounter the, the problems of transparency and the trustworthiness. 
In this short presentation, I gave a short overview of the theoretical challenges of RoboPatient project. RoboPatient is a fundamental challenge because we attempt to replicate biological humans, but there are so therefore uh, we are many bounded theoretical uh, challenges. It is significant challenges, but we are hoping that some recent advances in technology such as soft robotics, machine learning, and the 3D printing can give us a solution to really fundamental challenges. And all, all these efforts will open the door for the considerable breakthrough to make more human-like robot patient in the future. Thank you very much for your attention and hope you enjoy the rest of the workshop.